Hey, beautiful friend. Welcome to Solvine. This is Jamie. We are checking in and seeing what is happening with your energies right now. We do have uh, a new moon coming on in as well. But let's just see what spirit has, what you need to know. Let's get started. This is a general and timeless read. All right. Angel of strength, walking away, door to spirit, the temple path. Interesting. All right. Let's see. Let's see what is going on, Pisces gang. Hmm. There's something that's asking you to have a bit of courage to go into a new direction here. There's some form of completion. We've got 27 um, equaling nine, um, five, I, you know, 50, I'm thinking five change. Some change needs to happen here. But again, there's this courage being asked of you. There's this co confidence being asked of you, but also knowing too that you're protected along the journey with whatever this change is. And I feel wherever you're going or wherever you're being called to go or nudged, there's something here about being led spiritually, being led um, from your higher self, being led from whatever you connect into uh, in terms of higher power, okay? Because uh, then it's leading you to the temple path. And the temple path is a place of safety, security, on the right track, uh, guided, supported energy. Um, it's also number three. So I feel like this is the abundant path wherever that you're meant to be going next. It seems this decision, um, or courage that you need or the determination that you need to move may not be easy, but, um, let's dive in a little bit more. Angel of strength. What do we need to know here? Knight of Cups, Ace of Swords, Nine of Pentacles. I do feel that there's some offer coming in here. And some truths that are going to be shared that's going to put you in a pretty good position here. Let's just dive in a little bit more, see what our spirit has. More on this walking away energy. Yeah, so there's something here about needing to put up some boundaries or block something here that you need to move away from. Um, something about... I feel like someone's going to share something with you here. But it's about standing up for yourself is what I feel. Yeah, about some choice, some decision. What else do we need to know? Okay, yeah. So someone's really not operating from the best place here. So I don't know if you're dealing with a toxic person or toxic situation. Uh, it could have been in the past this person... Uh, tried to come with you come to you with an offer or an apology of some kind I feel like this is someone that you've been dealing with that um seems like they had good intention but something I feel like something's taken a bit of a turn um again I'm going off the energy guys that's coming through I don't know if you shared some truths with this person, you tried to make something caring, supportive. There's some offer or something that's been presented here, okay, that's required some courage, some strength, um, that maybe you thought you were in a good position, but something went a bit wrong here. And someone's coming out the other side that's quite toxic. Let me just get... Let me just move these around a bit. Yeah. 
share more on this temple path. Nine of Cups. Yeah, okay. Share more on this Seven of Wands. What do we need to know? Share more on this Seven of Wands energy. Yeah, I feel like there's something here that something that was challenged is what I feel has happened. Um, a conversation, a situation, something here that pushed the envelope, so to speak, right? What else do we need to know about this judgment energy? the moon yeah I think someone's taken taken a stance here that you weren't expecting because I think initially the way it was presented seemed to be supportive but something happened I don't know if it's some conversation that you had with this ace of swords energy that challenged something but it's made some like maybe you shared some truth some honesty someone didn't like it so they kind of put your back their back towards you potentially here and has gotten defensive um Or you could have got defensive. So take which way resonates here. But I just, there's something here about protecting something of yours that I feel you're being asked. Uh, and also not to give up on whatever this is, situation is. Yeah. So someone here is being a bit deceptive uh, in terms of their energy. You've got the moon, the seven of swords, the devil energy. What is it that we need to know about this situation? What's hidden here that we need to be aware of? Share more. Again, there's something about walking away. But again, I feel like you're being asked to hold ground here, whatever this situation is. So someone's presenting themselves as like, I got this, I got this together. At the same time, maybe that's how they're looking at you. But whatever, whatever's being hidden here is someone... I don't know if they've been doing research, looking into you or what represents this Knight of Pentacles, there's something here about an offer, something around an offer, okay? We see this twice. You've got two Knights here. It seems like it's caring. It seems like it's stable. It feels like, you know, like it's fair, but there's something that's off here. But I feel at the same time that this is going to work out for you, Um and come to some form of peace and balance, well, that's what you're hoping for. I don't know, again, if this is something to do with a marriage or something around the home space, but I don't know. I just feel like something's happened and changed that you weren't expecting that's kind of come around in terms of this situation. Let's get a little bit more what we need to know on this Seven of Swords energy. What do we need to know about this Seven of Swords energy? So this seems to be about some some cycle or some behavior, certain pattern and behavior um, that maybe you thought something was over but someone's coming in a bit unstable is what I feel right now. And I think you're also being asked um, kind of pay, pay attention because whoever that you're dealing with, I, th I feel like you know. Um, and if you know them, you know their patterns and behaviors. I feel like this is some cycle. Someone does this. Um, that is unhealthy. 
Okay. They've got a certain pattern and behavior. So connect into that. Um, yeah, it's, there's something here that you, you need to manage, I feel, or acknowledge here and some planning's required to get the result that you want. But I feel like that's what this person is doing and they're doing it a bit deceitfully. But underneath you also, I feel, know how this per person behaves. Um, or maybe you know how you behave. I just feel like this person is like really um, very focused on you for some reason. Uh, again, I don't know who this is, but I feel you're protected with daughter spirit. There's something else going on here, guys, uh, that's not really making a whole bunch of sense. Maybe you can make more sense of it. Um, the devil energy, what do we need to know? Two of swords. Yeah, again, I'm just... There's something that's hidden here is really what I'm getting. Let's see what's hidden. We need more. Let's see what's hidden. Let me just get one more in terms of, you know what? No, let's wait. I'll, I'll get to the outcome. I want to see there's something else going on here that this person that you're dealing with is up to. Let's get more first on the daughter spirit. What do we need to know? What is daughter spirit? Okay. So... I'm really happy we've got that card because this is the victory card, okay? So I feel this is you being protected and supported no matter what's going on here, but there's something going on here. So let's unpack what this is. What is hidden here that Pisces needs to be aware of? This is bizarre energy, really bizarre energy. Because there's some offer. There's something about someone coming on in. I don't know if this is love related. Um, I feel like you're getting maybe mixed messages right now. Um, what's this person's intention here? This person has an intention. What's their intention? Yeah. This person's going to do what they need to succeed. Um, but there's something not right. What is it? Thank you. So this has got to do with the father of sorts and the daughter of cups. Um So this is Page of Cups, Father of Swords. This is really interesting energy. This person's playing a little bit of games with you, mind games. It's like they're giving you a little bit to make you feel like you're important, but then... It's like there's something else going on here. Share more on this devil energy. Yeah. Whew. I feel this is coming in two parts, this five of cups, like some form of regret, maybe dealing with this person in the first place. But obviously, you know, you're here, you can't change that. But I also think too that you want to make something work here. You want to do the right thing. But this person, that the way they're participating is not healthy. Um, and I think it's really, you know, just putting you in a situation of like what – like why I feel you guys want the same outcome you want to work together but I feel like this person wants to work together at what works for them is what it seems 
because there's not – there doesn't seem to be genuine um, – genuine intention for the best interest of both people someone is just very focused on what they want their goals maybe this person has new love in their life intuitively you know that um or maybe you've got someone new in your life and this person doesn't like that um and they're causing a bit of challenges for you there's something off here very off um, but what I do like is that you're being supported here, um, that the outcome, I don't know who you're dealing with right now, but something's a bit funky. Shame on this judgment energy. Okay, so the temperance has come out twice. Yeah, someone is not doing well regarding the home front. I don't know if this is an ex, someone that you've been with before. Um, but it definitely seems to be a stressful situation. Even though you're trying to get to some balance, trying to get to some work, it's requiring patience. And part of this patience then causes, you know, with more time when things seem to be hidden or in a stalemate position or just what's being shared is unhealthy or toxic or confronting or just you know that there's some form of deception or things being hidden it's just causing seems to be causing more stress what's the advice uh here for pisces regarding this situation what's the advice magician six of Wands, eight of wands, heartache, <laughs> um, hurt, basically. Oh, guys, <clears throat> I just feel with this situation and just being up front here that. You need to do what you need to do to keep moving forward. I think any communication is not going to be supportive right now. It's going to keep disappointing you. So I don't know if you're communicating with this person, but I feel like that the back and forth isn't going to be what you're seeking. I just, this person just seems to be a little bit manipulative. What else do we need to know about the magician energy? The Empress. Shemo on the Eight of Wands. And then, thank you. This person is beyond me in the like in the sense of this person is all over the place. And what I mean by that, because I can see here there was a connection at some point. Um, it's like you're going to learn something here. This person, I, ha I have a feeling, is with someone else or you're with someone else. At the same time they're still hurt or caught up in something with you. And um, you being mother of cups here, I feel that you've always cared about this person or this situation, okay? But it's just caused so much conflict. And I think you're, you've are you come into a place where you're feeling good or moving forward in your life. And this person doesn't like it. It's like what they do is contact you to cause a disruption. Um, you know, I don't want to name the type of person that they are, but it, you get what I mean, right? It's like they're emotionally unhealthy. They're probably spiritually unhealthy. They don't, they just seem to be a bit all over the place with their behavior um, and the way they communicate. 
on and off, I feel, um, but something around the home space or around a situation that you've both, you've both been invested in. This person just wants to be a little bit disruptive. I think they wanted to smooth you over in some way to get something. I don't know what they needed, but um, it's like, maybe you've put some boundaries up or maybe you've stood up for yourself in terms of a situation and this person doesn't like it. It's like they're going to do what they need to do at all costs. At one minute, they might be coming to you like they care and they want to make things fresh and supportive. And then intuitively, you're kind of like, well, what's your intention here? And then, you know, you have some hope and maybe you, you know, just try to protect yourself at the same time. And then all of a sudden, they come with this different energy and it's like, why are they doing this? They're just very conflicting in their energy, how they're showing up. So I can only imagine their internal world, again, unhealthy, um, which for you is frustrating because I think you're trying to hold your space, hold your ground, be caring, be supportive in the best way that you know how. And obviously I think just naturally, maybe you are a person that they know um, is quite caring, forgiving, again, willing to how do I put this like I think they're just used to you being that way for them like accepting them for how they are and even though sometimes it's hurt you you've always kind of stood there and now they're kind of realizing well that's who you were but that's not how you are anymore you've you kind of moved on from your life or you're trying to move forward and this person is not liking it so it's it's like they want some harmony and balance, but they're causing all this conflict underneath. And it's like they think you're um, naive or silly or I don't know. It's just like this person's not making sense, but I think in their head they think they're making sense or they think that they're clear or they think that they're smarter. There's something about this person that just is a bit, I don't know, just I'm frustrated for you, put it that way. Um It's like they want to work on something, but what works for them, right? They're very fixated on what they want, what outcome they want, or, but I, at the same time, I don't even think they know what that is. It's a very bizarre energy. And if you have to deal with that, like far out, um, it's just... Yeah, I feel a big part here is protecting yourself because I can see that it's causing some challenge and stress. But interesting too, there's a part of you, I think that's also being asked because you have the um, the emperor here that with the magician. So if this is a masculine you're dealing with, I just feel like they, they're using their power to manipulate and dominate you. That's their goal. Um I mean, if we looked at this, because the energy is not that, but if we, we could look at this and say, hey, you know, there's someone that's coming in that just seems to have all the things that you've been desiring um, that's coming towards you, you know, but that's, I'm not feeling that's the energy. Um, I mean, for some of you, you could have someone else coming into your life at this time that's a potential of it. But the energy I think is just dominated with someone else trying to, I don't know. I just, I feel cause disruption. I think it's just the way that they operate. This person's not honest. This person's not genuine, but I think they show to the world that they're real and genuine and honest. And, you know, I think this person is well liked, but underneath it all, this person is very unhealthy. Um, and it seems to be someone that you've had in your home space okay so this could be related to something around your family or you've welcomed them into your family um yeah i'm just i'm not a fan what do we need to know about this world energy <clears throat> Yeah, I think at some point in time with this person, you really tried to work and, and come to a place of making things 
supportive for both of you. So you guys might have been in a relationship before, um, as in a husband-wife or wife-wife, husband-husband, whatever it is, um, or partnership. I just feel like you've been with this person in a romantic sense or building sense and you had a desire for this to hope. So what this I feel this person does is give – Again, check their patterns and behaviors because I think that's going to tell you a lot. It's like they're invested, they put effort in, they put effort in to, to a fair bit and then they take it away. It's like they they back they loop this way, backwards. It's like seven, six, five. They promise, they do a tiny bit and then they let you down. So this person must go through the cycle a lot because then you've got the seven of pentacles here and the two of pentacles. They're, they're unstable. I think they're kind of caught up in caring and then not caring. Like this, there's some internal battle this person deals with that impacts you significantly. Where is this Nine of Cups heading? Thank you, Spirit. Five of Cups, Four of Swords, the High Priestess. Yeah, I think you're really upset with this person's behavior. Um, and I'm also getting a sense here that it's like you know what you need to do here to make yourself happy. Because I think the more that you try to support this, um, the more that you – I just feel like this person you've got to cut out. That's the only way to heal what this person does or has been doing. Um, and like I said, I think there's a part of you that spirit's trying to connect with you, talk with you and how to support this. But it's important um, as much as this might hurt you, disappoint you in terms of what this person's doing. Like how do you, how do you switch off from them? How do you disconnect from them? Which I think is going to be important. Because you are being led on the right path, even if it hurts, even if you're being let down, right? And that's, I think that sucks for all of us. It's like, why do we need to get to this place for something that we came initially like genuine, you know, heart to heart, thinking that you were coming into an equal type of relationship and it didn't turn out that way. And I just think like, you don't want to keep going through this cycle, the, these repeat patterns of behavior, um, and I feel like this person, they may like give you silent treatments now and then. Um, but this person's very much back and forth a lot. And wherever they're given, whatever they're doing, they're not, they just don't have their, they might seem out to the world they got the shit together, but they don't. I was just getting what else is this overall advice for this situation. You're definitely moving on to another place. Um, you're, you're moving away from this. Um, I just think there's a part of you that even though this might be challenging dealing with this person, if there's something that you've got to deal with because of legalities, I think we got that showing up a little bit before, like whatever situation that you're going through, if there is a way that you can influence and come to some form of agreement, I feel this person is willing to work with you, but it may take a little bit to get there. Okay. Um, in terms of this situation, because I do feel there's peace and a beautiful path for you moving forward that will make you happy. It's just the reality is to get to that happy place, 
there's still some little bits of loss and grief that you may be dealing with that's come with this person. And it may still take a little bit of time to keep healing. Like, I don't think this is something that is here and you forget, right? There's still a part of you that is hurt and disappointed with this person. I also feel, you know, I don't know what type of person this is. You know, maybe if they're not emotionally healthy, spiritual healthy, mentally healthy, maybe they don't have much empathy. But um, I can't speak for them. I don't know who they are or your situation. I just feel that um, there's better days here for you. But you also need to work with your gifts, your talents, your skills, your charisma, your charm. Um, because this person is going to try and dominate you. But I think you also know how to how to engage with this to get to a peaceful place and move on and have I think a bit more joy in your life right because I think you've been making progress and moved into that and this person's then come knocking on your door and just stirring up shit I don't know who this person is why they're doing it but uh, it's not fun final advice for Pisces queen of cups four of pentacles queen of wands King of Swords. The Hierophant. Yeah, I, I feel you're being asked here to really take care of yourself right now. Um, and taking care of yourself too is just um, – what do you need to focus on and build upon for your life? In addition, what goals do you have? What do you do that makes you feel confident? What What are the things that you do that adds to your life in a way that you, you remember who you are without this person taking advantage of you or trying to bring you down? I think this person has been a bit of a cycle where that's what they do. They make you feel good because they're investing. It seems like they're given to you and then they take it away again. So this person knows... Again, they're not healthy and I, I don't like it. Um, this person does this over and over again, not just to you, to other people um, or will continue this cycle. But I feel this cycle with you, you've kind of become aware of it um, or if not, you're being asked to pay attention to it, how this person operates to, to figure out how to navigate this. I do feel a part of you needs to cut this person out in some way. If you've got to go through some situation to get there, um, you know, I don't know if you've got legalities or stuff going on, could be, but I feel like you will get to a place of fairness um, and you are supported spiritually, okay? Uh, I really do feel that. I do feel right now that connecting into that side of you and you're probably saying, I do that already, I get that, but I think there's this faith, having this faith um, and even having a community that can support you and keep lifting you up. There could be another potential connection that's coming in for you, another commitment um, or another offer that's coming on in. Uh, you may not be open to it right now, but I can see that there's a potential of something or someone coming in or someone here giving you guidance and support to get through this journey or this next phase of your life that you're stepping into. So um, I'm going to leave that with you, friend. Stay well. Let me know in the comments below um, if and where these resonates, um, if and where this may resonate in your life. I'm sending you a whole bunch of love, support at this time. I'll catch you later.